All right, Stephanie here again from Messier's Auctions. We're gonna do a quick preview of the couple cars and the motorcycle and some tools that are in the garage. And that's gonna be it for tonight. It's late, it's dark. I don't think I can really show you too much else. There's patio furniture outside, um, a little enduro dirt bike as well. But this is the 69 Cougar, runs and drives. They had it started up at preview today. It's after 10 at night. I'm not gonna start it up now and rumble the neighbors out of here, but I guarantee it runs and drives. Uh, 89,000 miles on the odometer on this. Uh, solid little car. It does need a new convertible roof though. As you can tell, it's pretty worn. But besides that, really nice car. Uh, tons of tools, guys, if anybody needs to upgrade their tool collection. Lots of hand tools, flare guns, toolboxes. You have some kayak carriers as well. This is, I believe it was a 1986 three Honda CX650. I know I have it listed in the listing what year it is. Mm -hmm. Yep, 83, I was right. Uh, we actually got this going as well. We put a jump pack on it. It started right up, revved up, it sounded good. So that is running working motorcycle as well, which is awesome. Uh, we'll go around and see the Maserati now. Beautiful car. Runs and drives as it should. Everything works on it like it should. Um, they bought it from FX Caprera with, I believe, like 25 or 6,000 miles on it. And she didn't drive it for over 10, 15,000. Sorry, it's dark in there, guys. But interior, excellent condition. Barely even looks worn. Look under the hood. <clears throat> Beautiful. Everything's nice and clean under the hood. All right. Yep. Looks good, guys. All right, so I just wanted to do a quick preview of the garage items. Give you a quick peek. Oops, I tripped on my own sandal. There you go, she just had it on the road, recently inspected for 2022. Beautiful Maserati up for sale. Oh, and then there's some tools in here I guess I can show you real quick. Uh, drill press, there's floaty items for your pool, tools and cases, some really nice downhill skis, and boots and accessories. There's helmets too, some more floaties. A little toddler sled, there's a dog kennel, some bicycles, um, a luggage or cargo carrier that would attach to your hitch, some outdoor decor, um, there's some motors, uh, boat motors, there's a Johnson right here, that one kind of, we had to shove everything back in here because we had to get the cars back in the garage, so it is a little cluttered, but you get the gist of it. A uh, 10 inch bandsaw, router table, some fishing poles, some fish and tackle, nets, a tracker, spring loaded seat, a Coleman camp grill. A great selection of items in here, guys. Again, you can bid at proauctionring.com. Bidding begins to close this Tuesday, September 13th at 5 p.m., two lots close per minute. And it will continue to do that until all the lots are closed uh, sometime after 9.30 p.m. There's 566 lots. Um, if a lot does get a new high bidder in the last three minutes, it will extend an additional three minutes. It's very important that you realize you have to have a new high bidder to make it extend. It's not just if somebody bids on it, they have to actually become the new high bidder for it to extend that additional three minutes. And then it gives a chance for the back bidder to come in and, uh, go higher if they'd like to. But enjoy your night. Um, I'll post these videos on Facebook. You'll be able to see them. And again, bid at proauctionring.com. We'll see you at Pickup on Wednesday from 1 to 7. Bye, everyone.